When danger has threatened our country, millions of men and women have left their homes and families to defend me and the nation for which I stand. The reason I went into the service was I was in nurses training right here in Topeka at Stormont Vale and uh, my roommate and I were walking around downtown Topeka and we walked past the Air Force recruiting office and we stopped in and talked to him and thought it sounded interesting and we had hopes of finishing our nurses training while we were in the service. Well, that was back. I graduated uh, from Topeka High School. I was only 17. And uh, I worked that summer and um, attended Washburn University for a semester. But during December of 44, I talked my dad into signing for me and I enlisted into the Navy. Uh, it just really became out of necessity. I was brought up, uh, raised, born in Alabama, raised in uh, Detroit, and Detroit is noted for its auto plants. So when I finished the high school, I didn't have any plans for college, and uh, it was probably the plants. And I worked, I guess, a couple of them, and it got laid off each time. So the opportunity for the United States Air Force was uh, just a blessing. I had a close friend a couple of years older than myself, and he was drafted into the Army. And we had been in the Boy Scouts together and so forth. We were exchanging letters, and uh, he wrote me that... Uh, I know you like to swim. If you don't like crawling through mud, you better join the Navy. So that what spurred my enlistment. I started out, my basic training was in uh, Lackland Air Force Base in Texas. I served 27 months in Texas at Champ Hood. Uh, went in there as a draftee and then was uh, transferred from Camp Hood, Texas to California. Took some basic training out there. I was shipped to Texas to Officer's Training Corps. I went to tech school at Francis E. Warren Air Force Base and I in teletype and crypto maintenance. And I got that trade and I got the tech school training that would prepare me once I got out of the Air Force. It was uh, difficult, it was funny, it was enjoyable. I was a farm girl in Kansas and out of high school I went right into nurses training. Was there eight months when I joined the Air Force. It was it was difficult. I mean, all of a sudden you you know you you, uh, you arrived at Lackland Air Force Base, and from the time I stepped off the bus, there was somebody yelling at me. Do this, do this, and calling you, you know, <laughs> making you feel like you didn't have much much working for you know you know kind of breaking you down for discipline again, and that's key, I think. Well, the biggest change was being a youngster, 17, and now starting to make all your decisions yourself. It just gives me a warm feeling to know that I was part of, part of it. And uh, there's so many nice, wonderful young man that never got to come home. I learned that uh, it's a small world. I mean, uh, we all have our differences and, and things that we don't like, but you put us all together, you learn a lot about each other. And I think that's one of the key things that service offers, an opportunity to deal with people from the South, East, North, and West, and find out that you don't have as many differences 
as you may have thought you had. You develop friendships, and in the friendships, you hear all about their home life. I thoroughly enjoyed my Navy career. I think when I think about it now, it was it was really a, one of my proud moments was getting my degree while I was in the service. God bless America. Here's to the red of it. There's not a thread of it in all the spread of it from foot to head. But heroes bled for it, faced steel and lead for it, precious blood shed for it, bathing it red. Here's to the white of it, thrilled by the sight of it. Who knows the right of it, but feels the might of it through day and night. Womanhood's care for it, made manhood dare for it. Purity's prayer for it, keeps it so white. Here's to the blue of it, beauteous view of it, heavenly hue of it, star-spangled dew of it, constant and true. Diadems gleam for it, states stand supreme for it. Liberty's beam for it brightens the blue. Here's to the whole of it, stars, stripes, and pole of it, body and soul of it, oh, and the roll of it, sunshine and true. Hearts in the sword for it, swear by the sword for it. Thanking the Lord for it, red, white, and blue.